Wireless microphone systems make recording much easier. It frees up the floor from cables being dragged everywhere, which also allows the camera to go as wide as it needs to be, and it keeps the talent mobile, but yet still connected to the recorder. You have transmitters, which the lobs are connected to, and that sends a signal to the receiver. The receiver is then connected to either the recorder or the camera, which in that case would also be the recorder. When working with wireless systems, one of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is to set the level of the transmitter. You have the option on the Roadlink transmitter to increase the audio uh, 10 or 20 dB. So make sure that you listen. Uh, I like to do a test recording to see what sounds the best. I've been using these things for, I think, five or six years now, and I don't think I've ever once had a hit or a dropout with these units, so these things are very reliable. Rode just came out with the new and very cool wireless Go systems. These things are very light, very portable, and very quick and easy to use. They have about a seven hour uh, rechargeable battery that's inside. The transmitter itself has the microphone built into it. So I'm gonna clip this guy on real quick. And the audio you're listening to right now is actually coming off the wireless Go system. The wireless Go transmitter also has an eighth inch jack so that you can take a Rode LAV and connect it. And I'm gonna do that right now on this system. And so now the audio you're listening to is actually the lob that's connected to the wireless Go system. Another transmitter option is the XLR transmitter. And it's essentially a transmitter with an XLR plug that you can use for a handheld reporter mic, or if you wanna get fancy with it, you can use these with uh, a shotgun microphone. So now your boom operator can be wireless to the recorder. These units do provide phantom power, so you can uh, just plug the mic in and you're ready to go. When working with wireless systems, always use fresh batteries at the beginning of the day and make sure you're checking the battery levels throughout the day. The first time you have a break or you go to lunch, check the battery levels. The last thing you wanna do is get in the middle of a really good take and then all of a sudden your batteries go out on you because then everybody's gonna be looking at you and it's a horrible feeling on the inside of your heart. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, make some noise.